This video will review the three types of FAA medicals and the rules for flying under basic med. A first-class medical is required for pilots who fly large passenger jets as an airline transport pilot. The first-class medical has the most stringent medical requirements and expires sooner than a lower class of medical. If under the age of 40, first-class medicals are good for 12 calendar months if used for ADP or commercial operations and 60 calendar months if used for personal or business flying. If over the age of 40, first-class medicals are good for 6 calendar months when used for ADP operations and 12 months when used for commercial operations. First-class medicals are good for 24 calendar months if over the age of 40 and used for personal or business flying. A second-class medical is needed for commercial pilots flying for hire. Second-class medicals are needed for flying cargo or any other commercial pilot job that is not flying as an airline transport pilot. If under the age of 40, second-class medicals are good for 12 calendar months if used for commercial operations and 60 calendar months if used for personal or business flying. If over the age of 40, second-class medicals are good for 12 calendar months when used for commercial operations and 24 months when used for personal or business flying. A third-class medical is needed for recreational, personal and business flying. Third-class medicals are for those airmen who are not using their pilot certificate for commercial operations. Third-class medicals may only be used for personal, business or recreational flying, non-commercial operations, and are good for 60 calendar months if under the age of 40 and 24 calendar months if over the age of 40. According to the Federal Aviation Administration, basic med is an alternate way for pilots to fly without holding an FAA medical certificate if the pilot meets certain requirements. Flying under basic med was designed to make it easier for pilots having previously held an FAA medical to fly without having to go through the process of obtaining and keeping an FAA medical certificate. To fly under basic med, a pilot must have held an FAA medical certificate any time after July 14, 2006. The pilot must hold a valid U.S. driver's license and complete a FAA medical exam checklist with a licensed physician every four years. Pilots flying under basic med must also complete a basic med online course. There are two ways to take the basic med online course. The course can be completed at basicmedicalcourse.aopa.org or basicmed.mayo.edu. Here is a list of the aircraft and operating requirements when flying under basic med. The aircraft must not hold more than six occupants, including the pilot, so a pilot flying under basic med can fly with no more than five passengers. The aircraft must have a max certificated takeoff weight of no more than 6,000 pounds. Flights under basic med may be operated in VFR or IFR conditions, but may only be operated in the United States at altitudes at or below 18,000 feet MSL. In addition, max airspeed when flying under basic med is 250 knots and pilots may not be compensated or fly for hire when using basic med in lieu of an FAA medical certificate. To apply for an FAA medical certificate, go to faa.medexpress.gov and contact an FAA AME. You can find an AME by going to the FAA website or getting a recommendation from your flight school or flight instructor. In most cases, an AME will issue a medical certificate on the spot after the pilot completes the physical examination. In certain cases, a pilot may disclose a medical condition on the medical application that the FAA has determined to be a disqualifying condition. In these circumstances, an AME will typically defer the application which starts the special issuance medical process. Here is a list of the medical conditions that the FAA currently has determined to be disqualifying. Even if a pilot has or has previously been diagnosed with a condition deemed to be disqualifying by the FAA, they can still be issued a special issuance medical under CFR Part 67. Consult with your AME if you have or have been previously diagnosed with a disqualifying condition.
Pilots who have listed a disqualifying condition on their Medical Express application will typically have their application deferred for further review by a federal air surgeon in Washington, D.C., Oklahoma City, or a local regional flight surgeon's office. Pilots who have their medical application deferred will have to undergo additional testing and be subject to additional requirements, which are spelled out in the Special Issuance Medical Certificate. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos on aviation and flight training topics. Feel free to leave a comment or question in the comments field below.